Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the brand new Chanel 2019 holiday collection. This is called Les Ornements de Chanel. Lucia Pica was inspired by Coco Chanel's love of the Baroque style. And if you go on the Chanel website right now, a lot of the marketing shows a lot of black and gold jewelry and aesthetic. So I think for today's look, we're gonna go ahead and try to do something along that style. But before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. If you say these words along with me in the video, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear that. Anyway, let's have a sip. So from the collection, I went ahead and picked up the eyeshadow quad. There's one eyeshadow quad and two singles. I didn't pick up the singles because I thought I could get what I wanted from the quad itself. This one is called number 342, Lumière et Opulence. So in the quad itself, you have one really beautiful light champagne color. You have a dark green almost color that's really beautiful for a smoky eye. Then you have a really nice dark brown, almost reddish color, and then followed by a really beautiful gold. These colors do look very holiday, very festive. It does make me think of the winter months. All four shadows have more of a satin finish. They are shimmery, but it's not like a chunky glitter by any means, but there's also not a single matte color in this palette here. I also picked up the highlighter from the collection. This is the illuminating powder. It's called Eclat Magnetic de Chanel, and this is in Metal Peach. Now, this is a great description of this color because I find that it's a really nice neutral color highlighter. It's a nice luminous peach color, but it's not too warm and it's also not too cool. It's a very beautiful color. And I also have to say that the inside of this highlighter here, as well as the eyeshadow quad, all have the same pattern or motif. And this is supposed to look like a vintage Chanel button. I wasn't aware of this at first. I honestly didn't know what the motif was. I thought it was like ribbons or cords, but it's actually supposed to be emblematic of a Chanel, um, like a vintage button, like on the suits. After that, I also got one of the new nail polishes. This is number 715 Deepness. It is a, an extremely dark forest green, but it also has a nice little ripple of gold in it. It's a beautiful color. I really like this one. And then I also got the Rouge Coco Gloss number 924 Rouge Carmen. This is just a really beautiful classic red color. In the cold winter months, it's always nice to add a bit more moisture to the lips as long as you have your hair pulled out of your face so that you don't end up with like a nice streak of red. Here in Montreal right now, we are early to mid-November and we've already had quite a bit of snow and it is really cold. It really feels like the middle of winter it feels like february weather but in november it's quite bleak so i'm very much in the winter spirit at the moment okay so now that we have a quick overview of the products let's go ahead and create a tutorial or a look with these products if you are new to my channel whenever i get a collection i like to create several different looks with the same products so if i don't create the exact look you are hoping for in today's video, please just subscribe and I will be posting a lot more looks in the weeks to come. If you have a specific look in mind, feel free to leave a comment down below. So I think I'll start off by going into this brownish reddish shade. I'm going to go in with one of the sponges that came with the palette. I'm going to place this on the lid and then buff it out. So I was on vacation in France for the past three weeks and normally whenever a holiday collection comes out I get it the, the week of, so I get it in October because the collections seem to be coming out earlier and earlier, but it's actually kind of nice to be using it in November because it feels closer to Christmas and especially now that there's so much snow and it's so cold it definitely feels more winter appropriate. I'm just buffing this out. I basically want to make sure that there's no harsh line between my skin and this shadow here. And going back into that same brownish red shade, 
with this brush, I'm just going to start bringing this color a little bit higher up here. I actually picked up this collection um, my first week when we were in Paris. So I was able to use this for a few weeks before filming this video. And I have to say that I actually quite like these colors because I like warm, neutral colors. These shadows are definitely in my wheelhouse. And I like this finish because it's a satin shimmer, but again, it's not like a chunky glitter. I think this is beautiful on all ages. I think, you know, sometimes women, when we get a certain age, we don't want to wear like lots of glitter, but this is beautiful. It's, you know, it's Chanel. And this color is really nice. At first, in the palette, I thought it was going to be a bit more red, but on my skin tone, it definitely comes off more of a warm brown. Because when you see it here, at least for me anyway, I read, I read this as more red. I thought it'd be more of like a maroonish, maybe burgundy, but as you can see on me, it's more brown, which it's okay, I don't mind. If you wanted to pull more red, you could go in with the eyeliner Eros, the one that's like a nice burgundy, or the Eros mascara. That one's like a burgundy mascara. But if I'm not mistaken, the two single eyeshadows, I think one was like a purplish red and one was a gold shimmer, I think. I think the purplish red one was a matte. I'm not 100% sure though. And they also had some really beautiful um, lipsticks, the Rouge Allure. I might get one, I'm not sure. I think I was just more wowed by the gloss because I like red so much but the tubes of the Rouge Allure are really beautiful. It's like, it has like a nice gold on both sides. I might order one after filming this video. I'm basing the inspiration for this look very loosely on some of the marketing photos that I'm seeing on the Chanel website. I haven't seen any videos yet from like official Chanel or We Love Coco yet. So I'm just gonna go with whatever inspires me. So now using a more tapered brush. Oh, also I'm going to go ahead and leave a list down below of all the uh, brushes that I'm using for the look today. So going in with this tapered brush, I'm going to go into that darker greenish shade and I'm going to go ahead and place it in the crease here. Okay, so just going in with a more small tapered brush. I'm going to go into that gold shade and just place it on the inner corner here. I think I went over the brown a little bit too much, so just taking the little sponge from before, I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that out. Okay, I think we should just go ahead and do the face makeup and then finish up the eyes after. So for the foundation, I'm gonna go into my Chanel Ultra Le Teint foundation and I'm in the shade B30. So I heard through the grapevine that Chanel is gonna come out with a whole new range of lip liners in the new year, like next year. And when I was in Paris, I asked if they had them there already because I thought maybe, you know, Paris will have like exclusive like new releases, but they didn't have it yet. They didn't even know what I was talking about. So I guess we will have to wait until the new year. So I have to say there really isn't that much fallout from these dark colors. From what I used um, today and also in the past, I really didn't notice that much. I think if you go in with the darker, like almost greenish color, and if you just like pack it on a little bit, I think that might have a little bit of fallout, but not that much. I mean, there was no fallout whatsoever with what I did today. So just to point out, I'm gonna go in with my Clé de Peau concealer in the shade Almond. And then using my concealer brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff it on the inner corner here. And this just helps brighten it and awaken it, just in case I had too much dark eyeshadow going into the corner and making it look like more tired and small, which is nothing that we want. And now that my concealer is placed, I'm just gonna go back in with some brushes and just make sure that it's still the shape that I want. And Because you know, sometimes when you put on your concealer, you kind of end up with um, shapes that look a bit different, so just go in and correct. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add more of that gold shadow, but I'm also gonna go ahead and mix the gold with that lighter color too, just to add a bit of brightness on the inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple eyeliners. I'm gonna go ahead and use one. This is the Stilo Yeux Blanc Graphique. This came out with the fall collection. This one is just white. And I'm gonna put this on the bottom waterline here. And this will just make our eyes look more open and awake. And then on top, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a thin line here with this one here. This is a number 88 Noir Intense. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trace very lightly under the lashes with the black liner. I'm also going to go ahead and smudge a little bit of that dark green color with a shadow brush here. I'm just going to go ahead and smudge it on the bottom line here. And then let's go in with the volume mascara and put on lots and lots of mascara. So for the blush, I'm going to go into Le Tissage de Chanel. This is the Blush Duo Tweed Effect. This is number 20 Tweed Coral. And then going into this beautiful highlighter, I'm just going to add a little bit on here. It's a really beautiful color because it just adds a nice amount of glow and you can build it up, but it's also not too intense. And now let's go ahead and top it off with this beautiful lip gloss. This color is so beautiful. It's like, the classic quintessential red when i think of the holidays we like red is a color that comes to mind and it, it looks very similar to this nail polish which is not a chanel it's actually a dior it's part of the dior holiday collection but the they seem to match quite well so with this lip gloss here i found that it really had a nice staining effect obviously it's a lip gloss it's not a lipstick it's not gonna last several hours if you eat and drink it will transfer a little bit but it is really nice and hydrating it's a nice um texture it's not runny it's not gonna like float everywhere but it has a little bit of stick but not too much it's a really comfortable texture and again as long as you have your hair out of your face you should be fine to wear this in the winter and have your lips be beautiful and also hydrated as far as the nail polish goes i did wear this for a full week and a half in france I do not um, have footage of me applying the nail polish or doing a wear test because it just, I don't know, I was on vacation, it didn't come to mind to film it, but I can say that it wore for a solid week very beautifully. I stretched it for a week and a half just because of vacation sake and not having the time to do my manicure every time. Um, when it starts to chip, it's really bad. Like I wore for a week and a half at the end of the half like week and a half it was it looked like jackson pollock had done my manicure it was so chipped and also it's so dark so when it chips it's very visible but that being said you can wear it for a full week without any chips and i was traveling you know like you're doing a lot your hands are always dry because you're always using purell and whatever so it does hold up very well but once it starts to chip it, it you have to change it right away all right, there you guys go. This is look number one with the Ornement de Chanel for the holiday collection. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the video. What do you think of this makeup look? What do you think of the collection? Which items did you pick up? Did you pick up these exact ones? Just let me know. As I mentioned, I will be doing other looks with this palette and just this collection in general. So if you have any makeup looks in mind or by the time like between the time that i film this video and upload it if there are um tutorials on we love coco or the chanel website and you want me to recreate them please let me know i can go ahead and do that okay i think this about does it for the video it's great to be back i really missed it so i'm very happy to be doing these videos for you guys again anyway i think this is all i have for you guys for today so thank you so much for stopping by i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys next time bye